this lesson 1-8, we're going to use powers of 10 to estimate quantities. And quantities just mean numbers, just amounts. Um, we don't want to overlook how useful it is to estimate in math. We really don't spend a lot of time when we're going over um, different skills in math. Um, we don't take a lot of time to look at estimating, but estimating is a very useful tool. Um, it's a way often to figure out things just in your head quickly or get some idea about numbers without having to take the time to do calculations. So it's a very important tool, a very useful thing to know. And then we're going to be talking about powers of 10 in the next three lessons. And I'll tell you that this is something leading into scientific notation, which is just another way to write very large or very small numbers. So you can estimate a very large or very small number by rounding to the greatest place value and then writing that number as a single digit times a power of 10. For example, one, we're gonna use a single digit times a power of 10 to estimate each number. So the first problem, we have 67 billion, 928 million, 295,312. Um, this is a very large number to even say, so we would typically just estimate it. So let's start here with just taking the largest place value, which would be right here, the digit in the largest place value, that's a 6, um, and we take the digit to the right of it, 7, and decide if it's going to make it round up or stay the same. And remember, 5 and up will round up. 7 is at least 5, so it'll round up, and we get 7, so this will just follow by zeros, 70 billion. And so I'll think a minute about what that is. That would be um, a single digit 7 times 10 billion. And instead of writing 10 billion, I know that that is the result of multiplying 10 by itself over and over and over and over. Um, and I can figure out exactly what that is. I'll tell you just a little hint. When you're dealing with large numbers that are a power of 10, you can just count the zeros. Because uh, 10 times 10 is 100, and there's two zeros, two tens. 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. There's three zeros, 10 to the third power. So I'm going to count my zeros here. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 zeros. So this is 7 times 10 to the 10th power. We could also check it a different way. We could look at it and say, okay, um, here's where my decimal place is, and I am going to just write 7, which would move the decimal to be right behind the 7, right here. So I'm just going to count those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 places that it moved. And that's another way to see that it's 7 times 10 to the 10th power. Okay, so for our next problem, we have 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 3, 8. And we're once again wanting to write this as a single digit times a power of 10 um, as an estimate of the number. So I'm going to start here with just estimating it. I have um, the digit 2 as the first digit on the left that's not a 0. And I'm going to use the digit to the right of it, 3, to decide if it's going to round up or stay the same. 5 and up will round up, under 5 will stay the same. So this will stay the same. And we get 0 0.6 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then this rounds to 2. So that would be 2 
times 0 0.0000001. And this is going to be a very small number, a very small power of 10. Um, so the simplest way to do this is really just to count the number of digits that the place value changes. I'm going to come up here um, and look at here. The decimals going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places to move behind the two. So this moved seven places. Now, if I leave that a positive seven, then um, that tells me this is a very large number, but actually it's a very small number, a number that's much smaller than one. It's 0, 0.00000 something. So this is to the negative seventh power. Example two, a human hair is measured at 0 0.00017763 meter thick. A sheet of paper is 0 0.0013 meter thick. How do the two thicknesses compare? This is really just asking um, whether one is greater or less than the other. We don't have to look at them exactly. We can simply just estimate. So we're going to start here with the human hair, and we'll compare it to the sheet of paper. The human hair, we've got a 0 0.00017763 of a meter thick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and round that. That would be about 0 0.0002. And I could write it in scientific notation, that'd be 2 times 10 to the negative fourth power. Now I'm going to compare it to the sheet of paper. The sheet of paper is 0 0.0013 meter thick. I could round that to about 0 0.001 meter thick. I could write that as 1 times 10 to the negative third power. So looking at this, which number is smaller? And that would be the hair. It's a smaller number. You could look at place value if you'd like to just look back at um, this step with place value right here, um, the second step. And we could think, okay, it's 0 .0002 and compared to 0 .001, or we could even write that as 10. 0, 2 is less than 1, 0. So we could look back there. You could look at the fact that this has a, a power of 10 that has a uh, negative, a more negative exponent. That means it's smaller because negative 4 is less than negative 3. That power of 10 is smaller. But either way, you can compare and notice that the hair is thinner than the um, than the sheet of paper. So we could just write it out here in words, the human hair is thinner. And we finish this problem. Example three, we're given the gross domestic product, that's called GDP, for both Canada and the USA. And we're asked, how does the GDP of Canada compare to that of the United States? Well, we're really just trying to compare the size of it. Um, you'll notice that the GDP of Canada is a very large number. Um, it's one quadrillion, 785 trillion. Um, and you can see that with the all the zeros, and the USA is 17 quad, uh, quadrillion 348 trillion. And so we're going to compare these two. So I'm just going to start with, um, we're comparing Canada to that of the United States. So I'm going to take the value for Canada, and I'll compare that to the United States. So for Canada, um, we have a 1 followed by a 7. So that's going to round it up to a 2. 
So we can round this to 2 followed by 15 zeros. Okay, and we could write this in, uh, well, it's leading to scientific notation. We're going to write this as a single digit times a power of 10. So that is 2 times 10 to the 15th power. For the U.S., this um, number 17, we have 1 followed by 7, which will round up to a 2. So we've got about 20 quadrillion. So a 20 followed by 15 zeros. And we could write that as 2 times 10 to the 16th power. So about 2 quadrillion compared to 20 quadrillion. We can definitely tell that Canada has a smaller gross domestic product. And actually, because the it's got the same single digit, um, but it's just one smaller power of 10. That means it's about 10 times less than the U.S. And we can tell that 20, uh, 20 quadrillion is, two, uh, is 10 times 2 quadrillion. So Canada, 2 quadrillion, is about 10 times less than the U.S. And then I'm going to note that. So Canada's GT GDP is about 10 times less than the GDP of the United States.